next topic that we are going to take today is La Nina and climate change. Why news? Because our earths, there was a news in down to earth. Take it down to earth is a website where we can read the, read the environmental news. Okay. Our earth's natural climatic pattern changing and uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic La Nina may be a sign. The character of a La Nina, an ocean atmosphere event, ocean atmosphere event that usually brings down global temperature. La Nina usually brings down the global temperature, whereas El Nino raises the global temperature. Okay, is changing, indicating a shift in the natural climatic patterns. Okay, there are chances that the current La Nina, there we are already in the phase of facing a La Nina event. Okay. Continue through the southwest monsoon, matlab this monsoon ke through winter of 2022 and the early 2023 as well, which might make it the largest or the longest phase of a La Nina that has happened till now. Okay. So what are La Ninas? What is El Nino? We'll be dealing with that. What is a La Nina? First to understand La Nina, since La Nina or El Nino is an ocean atmospheric interaction phenomena. Okay. So we need to understand, we need to understand as to what uh, forms the basis of this ocean inter, uh, ocean atmosphere interaction. Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, do not look at this picture, look at this one. First of all, if we consider this region as equator and this is a pole, it is if, if we even do not do not consider it, it is evident, right? So if we consider that earth is not rotating, earth is not rotating, it is stationary. In that case, in that case, the sun's rays are directly incident here and this, this will be warmed, this area will be warmed, right? And what will happen? The warm air will rise up, okay? the warm air will rise up you know? and then it will go and settle down at the poles. This is what going to this should be the right thing that should happen if the earth was not moving. But earth is a moving body, right? Earth is a moving body due to which there is one effect called Coriolis effect. Coriolis effect. What Coriolis effect does is, what Coriolis effect does is, it, see, this was, if this was the movement, okay, if we try to understand it from here, okay, if this is the earth, it's not good, but it's fine, okay, right, okay, this is the earth, now you need to understand it in a three dimensional picture. Will be try to we we'll try to understand first of all Coriolis force. Take okay. If we if the Earth is stationary, right? If we if the Earth is stationary, and if we throw a ball on the ground, which moves towards the north, take okay, it will keep moving like this, and it will reach somewhere. Okay, but if the Earth is moving from east to west, right? If the Earth is moving from west to east, Earth is moving like this, right? So what will happen if anything is moving in this, this direction a resultant force will apply in this direction right or not, not a resultant force the force due to the movement of earth because earth is movement like earth is moving like this take okay? so care anything that is on the ground okay on the ground and when it is moving away from equator okay in this direction so it will experience this force and the net resultant force will be this. That means, that means, that means, if someone is moving in this direction, the effect of Coriolis effect, the force of Coriolis effect, or the effect that is due to the movement of this earth, okay, the force that is due to the movement of this earth will be along this direction, okay and a net resultant will be along this direction simple if we can now we can also try to remove this 
ठीक है दैट मीन्स इफ समन इज मूविंग इफ समन इज मूविंग नॉर्थ फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर हिज एक्चुअल डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन विल बी दिस सिमिलरली इन द साउथ दिस राइट लेकिन अगर इफ यू ड्रॉ दिस राइट इफ समन इज मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन ठीक है तो अ नेट रिजल्टेंट विल बी सच दैट द मोशन विल बी लाइक दिस एंड सिमिलरली दिस ठीक है इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन टूवर्ड्स द इक्वेटर और फॉर फ्रॉम अवे फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर राइट ओके अंडरस्टूड दैट मीन्स इन द नॉर्थ पोल इन द नॉर्थ पोल इन द नॉर्थ पोल वॉट हैपन्स इज एनी मूवमेंट इज एनी मूवमेंट इज बेंड टूवर्ड्स इट्स राइट साइड ठीक है Any movement is bent towards its. This guy was moving this side, right? अब इसका right इधर ही होगा ना तो ये tilt हो जाएगा right side. This is the effect of Coriolis force. In North Pole, in the North Northern Hemisphere, it is on the right side. In the Southern Hemisphere, it is the left side of the movement. Left side of the direction in which he is moving. And the equator, Coriolis force is zero. Okay, highest at the poles. this is very important this is very important and you need to understand it and remember it so there are two important points to consider here the first one is surface flow surface flow theek hai and the second one is upper atmospheric circulation ya atmospheric circulation right both these both these winds observe what coriolis effect theek hai so you can see you can see in this picture you can clearly see that this region the southern america theek hai and the intertropical region basically intertropical tropic of capricorn and tropic of cancer ke beech mein jo tropic of capricorn and tropic of cancer ke beech mein jo surface flow of what these are surface winds theek hai these winds are blowing in on the surface and these are actually like this these are flowing like this hai na these are flowing like this and then rising upwards and then settling and then again flowing like this actually they should have done like this right they should have done like this but due to the effect of coriolis force they cannot they cannot move straight coriolis force will move them to the right in the north northern hemisphere and to the left of their motion ye <coughs> this this actually this arrow actually was like this sorry this arrow should have actually been like this but due to the effect of coriolis force it has been moved to its left it has moved like this okay so these are called trade winds trade winds theek hai trade winds are the winds that are responsible for people traveling west you can see if someone sets from here he can easily travel west okay So these are trade winds. Now we'll try to understand what is El Nino Southern Oscillation or La Nina, right? So <clears throat> Australia, El Nino Southern Oscillation, yeah, E N S O, or this whole E N S O and El Nino and La Nina event is nothing more than aggravation of a natural event. Okay. what is that natural event let's see we know that the southern pacific is a vast uh, is a vast ocean theek hai because there's no land southern pacific is stretches a lot theek hai so what happens is in the normal circumstances let's have a look at this picture this is the pacific southern pacific for example okay this is southern pacific for example and let's take this is southern pacific right okay now 
this is australia somewhere this is australia this is peru the south america region okay in the normal circumstances this is a walker circulation walker circulation means what trade winds do this region is filled with trade winds right what trade winds do is trade winds push the water to the australian side okay due to which there is a piling up of warm water here there is a piling up of warm water here ab yahan pe warm water hoga to yahan pe kya hoga low pressure zone low pressure zone right low pressure zone means warm water will rise and a formation of clouds take place right okay and this region this region is wet during the neutral conditions during the neutral conditions theek hai matlab abhi na al nino hai na la nina hai okay during the neutral conditions this is the case okay matlab ki this if we draw thermocline theek hai to this region is cooler and this region is warmer right because of the presence of trade winds these trade winds pile up these trade winds pile up water around this australian region and due to which formation of clouds take place and fir pacific walker circulation that we know theek hai and then it subsides somewhere here theek hai this is the high pressure zone again the florida bay okay this is florida bay yahan pe fir kya hoga warming and then if you look at indian side theek hai to we can see that here a area of high pressure high pressure ठीक है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू नोट हेयर इज कि जहां पे रीजन ऑफ सब्सिडेंस ऑफ एयर होगा दैट विल बी एरिया ऑफ हाई प्रेशर द रीजन ऑफ सब्सिडेंस ऑफ एयर इज अ हाई प्रेशर जोन द रीजन वेयर एयर इज राइजिंग अपवर्ड्स दैट इज अ लो प्रेशर जोन दैट इज अ लो प्रेशर जोन ओके नाउ वी कैन सी दैट समवेयर नियर मेडागास्कर दिस इज कॉल्ड मैस्करेन मैस्करेन हाई <coughs> this is somewhere near Mad Madagascar, okay? In the Indian Ocean, Mascarin High is formed, and this Mascarin High is also very important because this region, Tibet Plateau, okay, due to its excessive warming, what happens? A low pressure zone is created, okay? And ah, uh, now we know that now we know that winds flow from high pressure zone to low pressure zone. Winds flow from high pressure zone to low pressure zone. Wherever there is energy, energy always flows from higher energy to lower energy, right? अगर आपको एक ball को higher higher height पे रख देंगे, तो that ball will be having higher potential energy, ठीक है? And if you drop it, it automatically flows downwards, okay? Because this is a very fundamental tendency of energy that energy flows from higher potential to lower potential. Similarly, higher pressure zone से air जो है वो flow होती है lower pressure zone में ठीक है तो now a low pressure zone over Indian subcontinent and a higher pressure zone over this area due to which Arabic Arabian Sea जो है से होती हुई winds flow होती हैं Indian subcontinent में ठीक है and this brings rains to Indian subcontinent और south it actually is also a region of intertropical convergence zone. आई टी सी जेड इंटर ट्रॉपिकल कन्वर्जन जोन मीन की जहां पर एक्चुअली आई टी सी जेड जहां फॉर्म होता है एंड आई टी सी जेड गेट शिफ्टेड गेट शिफ्टेड दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन ब्लैक वन दिस एक्चुअली गेट शिफ्टेड इन द फेवर ऑफ इंडिया एंड वेट मानसून इज प्रेवलेंट ड्यू टू ड्यू टू दैट बिकॉज द विंड फ्रॉम द मैस्करन हाई फ्लो फ्रॉम मैस्करन हाई टू Uh, the Tibetan low, and they carry a lot of moisture within themselves, due to which they cause rains in India. ठीक है? तो ये तो हो गया normal. This is normal. ठीक है? अब अल निनो क्या है? अब अल निनो क्या है? ठीक है? अल निनो condition is the condition. All Nino is the condition, okay. This one is better, okay. 
तो ये है नॉर्मल कंडीशन नॉर्मल कंडीशन में कोल्ड वाटर यू कैन सी अराउंड द कोस्ट ऑफ साउदर्न अमेरिका द पाइलिंग अप ऑफ कोल्ड वाटर बिकॉज ट्रेड विंड्स आर पुशिंग ट्रेड विंड्स आर पुशिंग द वॉर्म वाटर टूवर्ड्स ऑस्ट्रेलिया ठीक है एंड यहाँ पे रेन होगी यहाँ पे ड्राई रहेगा राइट right? लेकिन यहाँ पे क्या बेनिफिट क्या है इस इस फिनोमिना का सदर्न ऑसोलेशन के फिनोमिना का बेनिफिट क्या है कि सिंस कोल्ड वाटर कम्स अप कोल्ड वाटर इज द वाटर दैट इज रिच इन न्यूट्रिय ओके एंड दैट इज वाई दिस दिस न्यूट्रिय रिच ग्राउंड बिकम्स अ गुड फिशिंग ग्राउंड ओके नाउ इफ यू लुक एट अल नीनो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू लुक एट अल नीनो इफ दिस ट्रेड विंड्स इफ दिस ट्रेड विंड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वीक एंड इफ दिस ट्रेड विंड्स गेट वीक एंड तो दिस कन्वेक्टिव क्लाउड फॉर्मेशन instead of on the coast side of australia it shifts this word why because now the trade winds are not strong to pile in of the warm water on this side on this side so what happens is yahan pe kahi pe form yahan pe is region mein kahi pe form hota hai what the hell is going on theek hai to warm water yahan pe rahega kahi right that means the the दस द फेनोमिना ऑफ जो न्यूट्रल कंडीशन थे इट हैज वीकंड इट हैज वीकंड द वीकनिंग ऑफ न्यूट्रल कंडीशन इज कॉल्ड अल नीनो ओके और इसकी वजह से क्या होगा अब इसकी वजह से इंडिया पे इंपैक्ट देख लेते हैं ठीक है अल नीनो ठीक है नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इज जहां पे एक हाई प्रेशर जोन बनना चाहिए था ठीक है वहां एक लो प्रेशर जोन हो गया और अल नीनो की वजह से इंडिया में ड्रॉट्स आती है अलिनो की वजह से इंडिया में ड्रॉट ड्रॉट की कंडीशन राइज होती है क्यों बिकॉज वेन देयर वॉज अ प्रेशर हाई प्रेशर जोन तो हाई प्रेशर जोन से विंड्स फ्लो होती थी इंडियन लो प्रेशर जोन की साइड एंड दीज विंड्स कैरीड मॉइस्चर फ्रॉम अरेबियन से एंड इट कॉज रेन्स बट नाउ अलिनो की कंडीशन की वजह से दिस हैज शिफ्टेड दिस साइड ड्यू टू विच दिस पोर्शन विच आर एक्चुअली मैस्कर इन द एरिया रीजन ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मैस्कर इन हाई इट एक्चुअली इज नाउ अ रीजन ऑफ रीजन ऑफ इट इज नो मोर रीजन ऑफ सब्सिडेंस नो मोर रीजन ऑफ हाई प्रेशर जोन इट इज रीजन ऑफ लो प्रेशर जोन ड्यू टू विच यहाँ पे भी लो प्रेशर यहाँ पे भी लो प्रेशर तो दो लो प्रेशर जोन के बीच में कोई विंड फ्लो नहीं होगी एंड अ ड्रॉट लाइक सिचुएशन राइज इज इन इंडिया ओके नाउ गेटिंग बैक टू द लानिना कंडीशन तो वी आर राइट नाउ इन द फेज ऑफ लानिना इन लानिना वॉट है when trade winds become very strong when trade winds become very strong so you can see that the piling up of warm water on the australian coast is very high theek hai so this effect gets strong when this effect gets weaker so it is called el nino when this effect gets stronger so this is called la nina in la nina we can see that we can see that in la nina what happens is warm water again piles up against the australian coast and the formation formation of cyclones heavy rains in the coast of what uh, australia takes place of course if this is getting stronger so in india also it will be having a positive effect like in india also it will be having higher rains theek hai kyunki now it is becoming even stronger zone of even it is becoming a zone of even stronger subsidence or even higher pressure and that will lead to even more rains in india theek hai iska dusra impact ye hai इसका दूसरा इंपैक्ट ये है कि दिस 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 जोन ऑफ हैवी रेन्स और साइक्लोनिक एक्टिविटी लीड्स टू अ आउटफॉल ऑफ साइक्लोन इन द बे ऑफ बंगाल एरिया ठीक है एंड जिसकी वजह से हमारे बे ऑफ बंगाल और हमारे ईस्टर्न कोस्ट पे साइक्लोन्स आने की चांसेस बढ़ जाता है तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट अल नीनो एंड ला नीना कंडीशन आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस इफ हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन रीच मी आउट